When I went to Belvedere to middle school, I was at the end of the, I was there in 1945 when the war ended. And you know, it was a new era. The, I remember they had strict rules about how you dressed. So I would wear these short dresses and my aunts would give me my mother's half-sisters to some of them. The youngest one was my brother's age. And they used to, they used to dress with the big pompadours and they called it finger, fingertip coats. And I love this outfit that they Is gave me. It's only the end of the finger Yeah, tip? you know, they came out for a while uh, in, in the early 90s. So the, the suit long, style? Yeah, but, but for women too, it was a, a suit, a skirt and a coat. And it was long and very classy and it had a, they, what did they call it when it had a velvet collar? It was a Chesterfield collar, they called it. But it was a green coat and I loved it. I have a picture of it. And um, they, were, they were black shoes and black socks all the time. So my mother would, she said, no, I can't, you would use that. So I would, when I get home, up to school, I would, oh, when in school I would roll up my skirt so it would be real short when I, when I went home I would re move it down. But then they had strict rules, the, the girls vice principal, you had to wear, you couldn't wear very strict, um, she would make girls send them home if they had their hair too high or their skirt too short. Did she have a ruler? Uh, there were rulers, my, no, I, my husband was my neighbor, um, he, but he was the oldest of 14. Now all of his, his mother was actually born in Mexico, but she came to the United States at a very young age. And his dad was born here, but his parents were from, now they used to say, I used to think they were from New Mexico, but they came from, I think Aguascalientes or Jalisco, the early ones. He might, they might have been able to trace more than my mother. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, was he a fashion bug too, your your husband? Not really. He was too poor. He borrowed he, for graduation. He borrowed his uncle's suit for a picture day. They did have very much, but they um, they used to wear Levi's, and uh, he he didn't dress up that much. The pictures I have were actually his uncle's suit. He told me, but he was a tall guy, and uh, <laughs> so, in fact, I was just talking. One of my grandchildren treated me to lunch. It was my birthday last month, and and she had never really asked me. She's 21 now. She just graduated from UCLA, and I had had never talked to her. She asked me how I met him and in school, and so I had I was just remembering because at Belvedere, he was um, always a tall guy, and very athletic, but I didn't notice him until eighth grade because I was I was on the journalism class and I was asked to interview him. And oh, he was so cute, and so I got smitten, you know. But uh, I, mean, I always had crushes, and we always had cr we called them crushes. Never had, never had a boyfriend. My mother was so strict to I, you know, she would keep tabs on us. And um, he, so I, I, uh, at the end of the eighth grade, we had a Sadie Hawkins dance, and so you had to ask the guy for the. So he used to be, he was a, a they called him safety, a traffic safety. He'd stand in the corner of, uh, it was called Brooklyn and, and Record, where I live now. Uh, there was a, a crossing tunnel underneath, so they used, he and a, he was assigned to just make sure kids, you know, I don't know what he did, just they didn't run across the street that wait for the crosswalk and all that. And so I knew he was there, so I, Ran, I, I said, I'm going to ask him, and I said, I dare, because all the girls liked him, you know, and I, he was very shy, and I don't know if he liked anybody. So I, after school, it was all the kids are coming out, and he's standing there with one of his friends. And uh, so I run over there, and I, I don't even remember how I said, but I said, can you, can you go with me to the city Hawkins dance? And he looked at his friends, and his friend goes, <laughs> like, I remember that. And he said, sure. I said, okay, and I ran. <laughs> So the next day, I tell my, my friends, oh, they didn't believe me. You, you asked him? He said, yeah, yeah, he is. So the dance was for that Friday. It was, this was during the beginning of the week. And so <laughs> we had the dances uh, in the auditorium. It was a big you know, space uh, from the seating to the stage. And we had all this great music. They're playing records. You know, and when I got there, I, I didn't know. We didn't talk. That's all we had ever said. I saw him, and I would see him, and I, I just wouldn't even look at him. I was so shy. 
shut. I couldn't believe it. But everybody knew that I had asked him. He had to say yes. So on the, the dance, uh, all the girls, except for the ones who had boyfriends, you know, a few did, all the girls on this side and all the boys on that side, they come in, you know. And so then the music starts, and I'm so nervous, and I don't even, when I see him over there with his friends, I, I was so embarrassed. I said, and the girls start say, see, I heard, see, he's over there. He's not going to, uh, who did, you know, who's he coming with her? So I thought, oh, they think it's a lie. Maybe it is a lie. So I'm just sitting there, and I, I turn my back so I won't even see. And so some kids get up to dance, and they go back to their places. And just a couple, you know, were couples. And then uh, somebody says, he's coming, he's coming. And I said, oh, no, my God, I, I wanted to lie. And so he, I, he, he just goes like this, and he goes, hey, get up. We danced. Didn't say a word. Go back to our seats. Then we, then we danced a slow one. He was really tall, and I've always been this short. He, he was already almost six feet by then. So we, when we danced, we were close, and I had to put my head like this against his chest, and the rest of the time my neck hurt, but I didn't care. <laughs> and they're saying, oh my God, all the girls, hey, you were so close. Did he say something? No, no. And I would just, no, I told you, you know. <laughs> it was so, and it was so funny, we never spoke. Never. We just said hello. After that, you know, we were eighth graders in ninth grade. I took a picture with him. It was so weird. <laughs> but I, everybody knew that I liked him. And there, my kids have the, they put it on Facebook. A picture of him and I on, on a picture day. It was soon after that or that dance. And he's standing there with his black suit. And he's going like this, and I'm, I'm like this, we're touching, and it was, oh, we're going, <laughs> it was so funny, and they said, that's hilarious, how come you're like this? Is, well, I told them the story, and we never really talked, and it was really, we didn't have, know what to say, it was, but then. You we were both liking each yeah, other too much. maybe, I don't know if he liked me, I know a lot of girls liked him.